Well, hello. What is going on, everybody? Man, I'm so excited about this. So, uh, if you're not aware, if you've never listened to our podcast where we frequently talk about uh, a little indie game called Coffee Talk that we really love, a uh, little game by Toge Productions who just celebrated, I believe, their 13th birthday. One of my favorite indie games just of all time. It's it's basically just this very like simplistic, you know, barista sim um, set in a kind of like sci-fi fantasy Shadowrun-esque future Seattle. And just the world building of it, the lo-fi kind of vibe, it just is my vibe. You know what I mean? And I love the story it told, wonderful characters. I love, love, love the first Coffee Talk. Um, every week on our podcast, we um, we do a, an indie showcase in this game. The first game, anyway, first Coffee Talk, was featured in it. So we're, we're massive fans. And uh, we were very excited when Toge announced that they were doing Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. And I was low-key kind of hoping for a release date announcement. This game, of course, is coming to Switch. We do feature Nintendo content here on our channel, since we're all in a Nintendo podcast. We do like to feature Nintendo-related content. Um, this game is already confirmed for a Switch release. It's supposed to be coming later this year, but we don't have an exact release date. But uh, I'm still, I'm really excited. Before we get into it, guys, if you would, give us a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow. And um, yeah, really appreciate that. So without any further ado, let's get into Coffee Talk, Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, the demo version um, that they released uh, in celebration of Toge's birthday. No, we still know no release date. This is still a development build, as it says here in the corner. So this is the Steam demo of a work in progress. So let's see what we got. What's your name, Barista? Well, let's just say Seth. That is my name. That is correct. I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Seattle 2023, so very much like the first game. A city of enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. I feel like I'm doing like some Def Jam poetry right now. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Cool. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. This game's got big shoes to fill for me. Like I said, I love the first game. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Dang. Already pretty heavy here in Coffee Talk 2. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. And the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement or simply to escape, it is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. Okay. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, and a night-blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. And <laughs> these are the days of our lives. So, looks like it still takes place in the Coffee Talk coffee shop sometime in 2023 so we're actually not too far off it's i guess calling it future seattle is it's like barely future seattle this is pr this is exactly how the first game is the evening whispers wednesday september 13th it's actually right around the same time even as the first game 
in terms of the time of year. So, um, in the first game, it was structured as, you know, sets of days. And it looks like this is going to be structured very much the same way. So let's start the day. I guess this will go on for a while. Ah, Officer Georgie. We, uh, or maybe it's Jorge, I don't know. We, uh, he's a character, a returning character from the first game. Evening, Seth. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. Lovely pixel art. I'd say the power lines, probably. Yeah? What about them? Oh. That's a concern. The power kept going in and out all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I guess our resident writer, Miss Greenhaired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? Freya, of course, being a standout character of the first game. The one and only. Unless she's changed hair color, then my bad. It's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh? Why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so. At least, that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. You know, I feel like that's a bait and switch, though. I feel like in the final game, Freya's gotta show up. Take a drink of water. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here, but it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time to herself. Ugh. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'll monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Seth. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. <laughs> Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. Then you're on your own. It's a thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry on flashlights anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? <laughs> Sounds like you need a vacation, too. Do I ever. Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh? No midnight patrol, then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to try one of our new tea selections instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. That's a real tea that I just recently learned about. It's a, yeah, like like it's this this tea that turn that it turns blue. The color is really pretty, huh? I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, Seth. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh, it, it's pea, as in pea pods. Oh, and not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it, whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Of course. I'm sure you have all, this, all these info written down on your phone. A little bit of a localization thing maybe here. All these info. Maybe something to... Uh, again, this is in development. This isn't the final build. I want to say yes, but some of my notes are missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Well, better write down everything you can remember then. Anyhow, I'll take either blue pea or hibiscus. Keep them simple. Okay. So, this is again very, very similar to the first game. Um, I mean, I guess we could just do... Interesting... I mean, it just says keep it simple, so maybe I'll just make butterfly pee just straight up. Just a straight butterfly pee. No dairy, though. Don't give him any dairy. Oh, you have to pick a secondary. So I'll just go all the way. 
We'll just go all the way with butterfly pea. This is how it looks, too. Nice blue color. Let's serve it. See how he likes it. All right, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you it is completely edible. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Seth. It's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. It'd change color, too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something to lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drink it all, though. Nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest just finished all of her remedials. Remedials? Yeah. We found out for a reason or another. She's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How'd it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Yikes. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> that was my yikes. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner, and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm, that and my car's busted. My tires have all had their valve caps removed. What? How come? Just so happens, my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. It's a whole other thing going on. But rest easy, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Oh. Who's this? This is a new character. By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. Uh, what's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. But I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Seth. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet! Nope, oh, phone's going off. Uh-oh. Mrs. Calls. Ah. All right, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. So, can I get a latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes. You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me you're the pro. Um, okay, okay. Hear me out. You see, I liked coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and I decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still just miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What was it about coffee that you missed? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. Let's make some matcha. 
I think this is the matcha powder, yeah. Uh, I imagine, although I can probably consult my brew pad here. I don't suppose we're making him a green tea latte. Well, he said he liked the milk, though. Specifically. So. I imagine we could just give him a green tea latte and call it a day. Green tea, milk, and milk. Let's also look at our Tomodachi, which is, oop, bump my mic. Which is uh, kind of the, like, Facebook social media-esque app. Uh, we have control of our uh, music playlist. Oh, this is cool. This is more detailed, this kind of like Spotify sort of thing. I, I don't believe it was this detailed in the... Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't believe that it was like quite this detailed in the original game. We've got the Evening Whispers. Looks like that's not available at this stage. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make him... It was green tea, milk, and milk, right? I mean, that's a green tea latte. Now, you can make latte art. Let's see if I can make some bad latte art here. What should I try to make? Should I try to make... Oh, gosh. Let me try to do... Like, a spade. An all-in spade. Oh, this is gonna be hideous. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not good. Hang on, can I reset it? Yeah, okay. Let's, you know what? Maybe our best course of action is to just make, like, kind of a blob in the middle and try to etch. Okay. Etch. Kind of... Kind of <laughs> drag it up a little bit. That's vaguely spade-like. Okay. All right, and then maybe kind of that looks that looks okay. That's vaguely spade-like. There you go. You got an all-in spade. It looks more like an onion. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's redo that. Let's not make it quite so bulbous. Let's go like like something like that and kind of try to curve like that. Jeez. Yeah, we're really struggling here. We're just gonna serve it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Thanks! Oh no, he took a picture. Well, don't mind if I do. What do you think? Not bad. But when you said concentrated, I expect it to taste bolder? It's the latte version, so maybe that's why it's mild. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Oh well, thanks anyway. Maybe I should have just given him straight matcha. For some reason, I thought that I remembered that he said he, he liked milk or something, and that's why he was ordering lattes. But maybe I misunderstood him. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh, maybe our crowd just isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we're open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? It's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Oh gosh. 
can't really make out what he's saying there. What does that say? Where I am... I can't make it out. Oh. I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomodachi, huh? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the Stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything! Kidding, I'm usually more active on my Tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right. I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Aw, never mind then. Just kidding, my manager decides what I endorse. They help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh lordy. He's wearing like a Gucci hoodie. Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. <sighs> Maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. Yeah, see, little tiny translation things. That's one thing that should be notated about um, this team is they're Indonesian, so... Uh, I don't, English is not their first language, so hopefully some localization work can kind of be touched up a little bit. I think by and large, though, the writing is really good, as it was in the first game. There were no cabs around my station, either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only order I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. Touché! Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Whoa! I retract my statement. For what it's worth, it held on much longer than I expected. You're right. Wanna borrow my lighter then, Seth? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah, er everything's peachy. I just, uh, I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, you're scared of the dark, kid? Uh, duh, you never know what might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still. Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not, I do night patrols all the time. If I can cuff them, I can handle them. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Uh, did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Holy f- Whoa! <laughs> Look at Luffy's face. <laughs> oh, Georgie's face is good too. Who is she? Or they? Uh, hi? I'm back. Sorry about that, everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I make my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare, coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat and for my mind. Tough day at work? 
If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. All right, let's try the blue pea latte. Let's see, Tamodachi apparently, okay, so stories. Oh, we can even like it, that's cute. So this is what he said. Guess where I'm hashtag chilling, hashtag pick of the day with this Gucci thing here. Oh, we got a, I believe this is a character from the first game. The Neko girl. Oh, and here's Freya. Love that. Cool to see a little connective tissue to the first game. This seems to be very much like they, they didn't overreach with chapter two. It's not, um, they're not reinventing the wheel, you know? I'm assuming that a butterfly pea latte is just butterfly, uh, butterfly pea with, uh, with milk. Let's see. We can always throw it out if that doesn't work. See, that just says milk butterfly pea. I don't think that's right. So, butterfly pea, milk, milk. There we go. Butterfly pea latte with art. We need art. So let's try to make another... I wonder... You know what? I'm going to try to make a butterfly. Let's try to make a butterfly. Let's do our best. We're just going to make some globs. Some vague globs. And then we're going to etch. And then we're going to kind of... That looks vaguely butterfly-ish, right? No, it doesn't. It's, what am I, I'm not, who am I kidding? So glob, 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 glob. Okay, etch. I, I am like, awful at this. I'm sure that there are people out there that can do this really well. I'm not one of those people. There's your butterfly. <laughs> Maybe in like a, in a Rorschach test kind of way. Maybe you can... <laughs> what do you see? Is it a butterfly? We'll serve it. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. It's blue? Yes, but rest assured it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now, can we just wait until the storm's over? Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to flooding also. It really is coming down out there. Another thing that's sort of different already from... Just because just of the downpour, I guess. But uh, in the first game, you would see like silhouettes of people walking past the coffee shop. It was always cool. Great world building in this game. Well, darn. So, basically you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so. At least for a little while. <laughs> I'm in such cheap trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Seth. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's this vandalism going around recently. Someone keeps removing the valve caps and parked cars around the West Precinct area. 
Huh, why? Maybe someone's a collector, or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved, so a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's car got had two pops? This is what I'm talking about. That's some pretty shaky. I, I would I would actually really like to work in localization. So Toge, if you if you would like to hire me to yeah, you know, I would I would be happy to localize this game for you. Because the writing's really good. Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage other than my time. My colleagues aren't so cool about it, though. The recent massive resignation sort of left us in a bind. We're pretty understaffed right now, which means tensions are pretty high all around. Ah, it doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV, so I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it just be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion could be elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. <laughs> I was just about to say, this is super sus. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof. And disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Because really, all you need to get started is a camera, phone, and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me! Joking. Anyhow... A high-risk, high-reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh, yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh! Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels... So it feels I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You, you make it sound, it's, you see, you make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Even so, I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred, still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Not so easy. So I believe if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online... activities. 
I find the people's conduct there very loathsome to me. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I already took it down. Aw, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something made out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day my application was unexpectedly responded to by an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comments section, so I checked. It was... a lot. What happened? The comments section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were... A lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice, and many others wanted to know who and where my handler was, since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. I'm not... I'm Family-friendly channel, everybody. I'm not gonna say that part. <laughs> That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. I may look like this, but us satyrs got added pretty late into the game. But don't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born males, and we didn't really have the best reputation, either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still! Doesn't make it right. But I get it now, your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Mm -hmm. Chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh, the light? But how can you be chill? To be to such blatant disrespect thrown in your face like that? Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they feel some sort of perverse pleasure from others' suffering? The audacity, I can't, I can't. I see the anonymity of talking through screens have enabled people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Not again. Just a second, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> Georgie peaced out. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank goodness, hmm? Oh, he moved. <laughs> it's just... 
not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit I just don't want to hear the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has ran aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Hmm? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables around. Mm hmm? How? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. <laughs> no, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It's as if they're made for the role. Exactly. So, this is a case of if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. So if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing that all those other sirens don't have. A story. A story? Yeah. Imagine, a banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage, pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? You haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? Of course I'd love to, but honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away by putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. Any way you sing, everybody will be impressed no matter what. And that's when you'll get your time to shine. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not, no way. But ouch, that kind of hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude, but I don't know you, and you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider all what you've just said when you don't even know my name? Honestly, if what you've been doing has worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey. I don't know where you were going with that, but... I think you went too far, kid. What are you talking about? Oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm s The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn, so let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. Uh... Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man's still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. 
The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's all right. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. Are you sure? Yep. All righty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Seth. Yes? No, it's nothing. Okay, then. See you soon, Seth. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Seth. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but... I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread for sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's the missus. You know what? I, I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. <laughs> Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go, though. You take care on closing, Seth. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Oof, what a day. I better clean up and then, huh? What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Well, better keep it safe over here. I've got a little drawer. Well, let's wrap this up. To be continued. Nice. So that's uh, the demo for Coffee Talk Chapter 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. That was a lot of fun. I mean, it is very much more Coffee Talk, which is a good thing. Looking forward to playing this on Switch. Um, the game is coming out later this year. The demo is currently available on Steam. Uh, hopefully still available at the time you're watching this. Again, it's, it's very much it's a visual novel style experience with some light kind of gameplay. A lot of really great world building. I do hope that as we get deeper into development, I do hope that some of the localization is polished up a little bit. Again, uh, Toge, call me. <laughs> and uh, you'll find all the social media links um, in the episode description if you would like to follow us anywhere. And uh, beyond that, I'm just, I'm just stoked for more Coffee Talk. I just love the world of Coffee Talk. And it seems like they're continuing to build upon it. Some interesting stuff happening. I'm looking forward to seeing more. So... Anyway, I hope you guys have dug this. We'll see you next time. Bye.